Hello. Take three. Let's try this for real. Hey guys, my name is David Prater. You to try to be a straight A student. If you are, then you think too much. This might be pretty controversial, but uh, I don't think everybody should go to college. I almost made this video exactly about two years ago. I was a sophomore. However, one, I, it was not presented very well. Two, it was not produced very well. And three, my friend's mom got mad at me for making it, so I deleted it. Quick disclaimer, I am by no means a professional when it comes to career, college, professional, whatever, blah, 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 development. But this is something that I would have liked to have seen before I started my career in college. Even though my path would have not changed at all from where it is today, had I seen this before, I still would have liked to have been presented this side of the question. That question, of course, being, should you go to college? Should you go to an American university? It's a big question. Here's my quick credentials. One, I am debt-free. Two, I am a graduating senior. This is my fourth year. I did it on time. Three, I have a very high GPA. And four, if I did not have funding from an external source, I would not be in college right now. Even to this day, if for some reason my funding from scholarships and financial aid from the state did not come through this semester, I would have dropped out my last semester of school. That's true. If I had to incur debt to get my degree, I would not get my degree right now. To best answer the question, should I go to college, uh, I've actually made a matrix. I've made a chart that you can consult if you think it's a good one. On the x-axis, you have your career goals and their requirements. Does your career require a college degree? And then on the y-axis, you have will you incur debt? No or yes? And with those two axes, you have four different possibilities, four different people categories. If your career requires a college degree, then we are going to assume that your career will also pay off any kind of debt that you may incur by going to school. For example, if you want to be a doctor, we're going to assume that your career in, in, in practicing whatever kind of medicine you are wanting to practice, we're going to say that that is going to pay off any kind of loans that you may have to incur by going to medical school. And because of that, if your career does require a college degree, we're going to say go and go regardless of whether or not you are incurring debt. But then there's the other side of the X axis. And that's that's where people get a little bit confused and where I would have back in the day. There's a big chance that your career does not require a college degree from you. And if there's a chance that you do not incur debt because of either family or private funding or state funding, then the answer is pretty clear to me, go go to college. And then finally, the last box, the last people category, those people that do not require a college degree, their career doesn't need it, and also you're going to incur debt to get one? No. I will say this, everybody can benefit. There is always a benefit in going to school longer. Of the four people categories, I will tell you right now, I fall into the third one. I do not require a college degree for my career goals. I wanna work in the entertainment industry. I wanna work in front of the camera. Outside of that, I wanna work as a bartender or a server or in catering. But you can tell just a lot of things that do not require four years of a lot of debt. But why do I stay in college? Why do I continue this journey even though my career does not require it? The reason is because there are a lot of non-career benefits associated with going to school. People talk for ages about all of the things like, oh, it will tell an employer this about you, or you have all these professional networking opportunities if you go to school. Those can be great for a lot of people, not for me personally. I try to focus on the more non-tangible assets when it comes to my college degree. The most important thing, things, that college has given to me is an incubation period in my life. It's given me a proper time to think and grow and learn about myself more than anything. If I would have been thrown to the wolves at 18 years old, I would not have survived. That guy was really dumb. He was really, really stupid. This guy is too, but for totally different reasons. It also gives you an opportunity and, and really forces you to adjust and learn to adapt. These are not tangible skills, but I mean, yeah, you could put it on a resume, but why? Like, this is for you. This is so much more important than what you can show a potential employer. These are life skills. These are street smarts developed in a bubble. That's a huge advantage because yeah, you can grow and, and learn outside in the real world, but if you can avoid doing that also, that's great. College allows you to fail so many times over and over again that in like the real world you want to be able to. So if you're learning from each mistake that you make in college, then you are set to succeed a lot more regularly in the real world. It also showcases to yourself, not to other people, that you have a capacity to learn. Being able to wake up every morning and say, hey, I know how to learn new things, that's a really cool skill to have. And yeah, you can do that without college, don't get me wrong. But again, it's being able to do that and prove it to yourself in this enclosed, confined area where you can still screw up a lot. The most obvious one for a lot of people is time management. That's a big benefit 
that you can get from college that have nothing to do with your career directly. You can compartmentalize a lot of your life and thrive because of it. Some things you shouldn't compartmentalize. Some things should encompass everything. Like I think being positive and being a good person to everybody should not only go with work or only go with school. That's me. That's me as a person. And I'm not going to try to fight that because other people are very cold. And somehow that ties back to time management, what I just said. Of course, socializing. You have time just to hang out with people. You have all of the time in the world. You learn to interact with people though. You, you learn to talk, you learn to converse, you learn to think for yourself finally and speak your own voice and, and speak your own truth to other people. And that ties in perfectly with the last benefit. Uh, I mean, the last benefit I wanted to write down. I don't want to think too hard, come on. College gives you a chance to share your story with others and build your story because life is is your story. It also gives you a chance to listen to other people's stories. Everybody's story is extremely interesting and offers a lot of value that you can absorb and share back with them as long as you allow that to happen. And luckily, that ability to share your life with other people and have them share back with you is not only exclusive to going to college. The story that you have to share is just as significant as the person next to you. So listen to theirs. Listen to the person next to them and share yours back with both of those people. Those are the real reasons I think you should go to college. Too often we focus on ourselves and what other people can do for us. I'm in a business school. I know for sure a lot of people are really focused on their own careers. They teach you how to build a perfect resume and how to be the fakest version of yourself. But if you allow yourself to be vulnerable and be genuine with other people, they will return the favor back to you. And guys, I think that's gonna do it. Of course, you know the chart, you know the matrix. Maybe it applies to you, maybe it doesn't. It's a tool that might not matter, and that's okay. And as long as you're holding those core values and those beliefs that I mentioned towards the tail end of this video, that's all that I think really matters. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If it applies to you or anybody in your life, send it over to them. I want as many people to understand where I'm coming from as possible. Because this is the kind of video that I would have liked to have seen when I was a senior in high school. Even if I didn't understand every part of it, having bits and pieces that did apply to my life would have helped a load. If you like what this video is about, what this channel is about, this is the message that we're sharing for a long time to come. Go ahead, subscribe to it. Let me know in the comment section down below which people category that I, I talked about, the four different people categories, do you belong to right now or back in the day or in the future? Might you? I want to know where you've been, where you are right now, where you're going. So leave those comments and questions down below. And with that, I'm going to go. So, yeah. Well. Whew. Bye.